Legacy Recordings Weekend Music, March 3rd through March 9th. March 3rd, 1968. Bob Dylan began a 10-week stay at number one on the UK chart with John Wesley Harding. It returned a few months later for another three-week run at number one. March 4th, 1973. Elvis Presley's single, Steamroller Blues, is released. March 5th, 1977. Barbara Streisand began a three-week stay at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Evergreen, love theme from A Star is Born, her second U.S. number one. March 6, 2007. The U.S. Library of Congress entered Paul Simon's Graceland album into the National Recording Registry, which preserves historic works for future generations. March 7, 1917, the Dixieland Jazz Band One Step by Nick LaRocca's original Dixieland Jazz Band, Victor 18255, becomes the first jazz recording released for sale in the U.S. March 8, 1986, Whitney Houston begins the first of 14 weeks at number one on the U.S. album chart with her self-titled album. March 9, 1991. Though originally released in 1982, The Clash had their only UK number one single with Should I Stay or Should I Go after the track was used in a Levi's TV ad. The B-side was Rush by Mick Jones' Big Audio Dynamite 2.